We're heading into China for the next operation. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Hmm. This map is troubling early on. Benjamin Bowskipper almost died here. It's a, it's a troubling map. It can be quite difficult. Yeah, I think so, now. Manny. By and good Roger, spawn, though, I think. Sky, reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay. The kitchen must open. Millions must buy. Zero out of 14. The kitchen is open. The motion tracker is on. The aliens present. This mission must be played very carefully. Yeah, this is the Bug Super Begins map, yeah. My immediate thought is to just play this, this like, slice of the map because, oh man, this is scary. Maybe even, like, one here. So here's the thing. It's not a UFO mission, so we can play conservative. What? Okay, from anonymous Max. Scanner. Wow, what Max is down. this? 14 drones. I will be going you say donations from Saturnalians who cannot panic the lowest two soldiers. Okay. Dr. Ryu, you have a $6 credit from me. You have a $6 credit from me, Dr. Ryu. I'm going to write it down. I'm good at credit. Yeah, you're good at credit. Thank you, Dr. Ryu. Okay, so thank you to that. I, I think my, my mom is donating it again. That uh, chat who donated 14 drones. Oh no, how will Beagle win this one facing such vile foes who cannot panic the lowest will soldier? <laughs> It's still 14 drones, but yes, okay. Probably better than 14 sectoids. My, my mom is donating again. So 14 times drones. We only have one shotgun, but at least we have one shotgun. And then Dr. Ryu. Okay, Doc Ryu 6. Why am I writing it on my notepad? I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it in my notes. I'm going to start a new thread in my personal note server. The thread is... Kitchen credit. And in this thread, our first viewer goes, Dr. Ryu, six dollars credit. Boom. There you go. I've got you written down. Thank you, Dr. Ryu. How are we going to deal with 14 drones? Well, we're not going to deal with them by having other shit activated at the same time. I can tell you that much. I do want to just, like, hold this flush. But then the drones just get on top of me and kill me. So actually, I don't want to do that at all, even a little bit. Um, whatever happens, a Rocketeer must be prepared. Zook says, oh my god, why is everyone back to XMEW? I'm so hyped. Yeah, man, we've been playing ages, uh, heaps and ages of it. we got a weird gimmick going on, too, if you don't know the campaign. Which you're about to see come true. Let me put that number up, by the way, too. 14 drones. Basically, this hinges on our Rocketeer killing all the drones. Um, we don't want to move forward until all the drones are dead. The aliens may rush us, which you can't do anything about if that happens. Like, oh well, fuck. But, uh, basically our goal here is to just bait all 14 drones to fly down and, like, be about here. Then the rocket opens up. Now, there's a pod right there, which makes me not want to put the rocketeer here, because they might get got. But it's the best place to get the drones, and also it might actually work out, because there's loss. There's a lot of loss blocking going on. Like, we have one pod about here, and then we have another pod that's about here. One, two, I mean, you might activate from there, but you might not. You can hide the first turn. Gordon says, you said at the start of the stream you're going to push forward so you can fall back. Yeah, especially on UFO missions. Not in this case, though. Not against 14 drones. Because all that's going to happen is we're going to activate other shit. I'm still going to be fighting as 14 drones come in. In this case, because drones just push straight towards me... I'm just going to do the usual. And I do want to note that until Landed Raiders, which we had to fight better, but until Landed Raiders, we only lost one person last campaign until that wipe. Um, and that was just some bullshit if I say so myself. So our strategy was working fine on the abductions, at least up until that point, until mutons, of spamming explosives. New do a donation from Oxian. I think it'll work here. A shadow pass across the moon tonight, the drones take flight in search of prey. <laughs> yes, they do. I have one, two, three, four firing ports here, which you can hide behind as well. This isn't full cover for some reason on this map. On this map only, this car is not full cover. 
but you can also like put someone here. I think steady the Rocketeer on the side. Moving. Maybe not even this turn, like so you don't activate accidentally, just wait. You're gonna come to the right, meanwhile. The Grenadier. Um, we can also stick here, just like windmill grenades over the top. If I can get you to there, it'd be even better. I'm not sure if I can without activating the... Oh, it should be fine. That should be fine. So bring... Beer. The engineer... Engine here. This SUV did not buy the tinted windows. Yeah, you're right. That's why. If this was full cover, it'd be a lot easier, but um, it isn't. So instead... You don't want everyone up here, as said, because then the drones will get on you too quick. Come to here for right now. And then push to here next. Ball of Sunshine especially needs to not be up front there. Ball of Sunshine can be one of the other gamers who will, like, move into position afterwards, I think. Hating out. And then we've got you two, and maybe you two assault team fuckers can also chill with the gunner here. I did say I was going to keep Valence of the Engineer, but in this case, the positioning is fine, I think, to not do that. But it's all about the rocket. The rocket is 14 drones, land on here, and then we rocket. You actually might want to move the Engineer back for that reason, because you don't want to risk the splash, but it depends, I guess, exactly where they land. And your first move's probably a shred anyway, to be honest. Oh, I said I wasn't going to be here this turn because of the, uh, the bullshit. Yeah, it could be so late, it could. It's just it's also half cover. That car also explodes a straight bait, yeah. So first of all, 14 drone by, let's max out the mission. As that brave, brave chatter intended. This is still very dangerous. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now this is dangerous, but it is, it is dangerous in a single-minded kind of way. That is the advantage here. It is a single-minded kind of danger. We're gonna wait. We're not gonna pop out this turn. We're gonna wait until next turn minimum to pop a motion tracker and get ready to go out there again. Up, up. Dip shotgun's out. We have one shotgun. I'm rolling. Not two. That is an important difference. Give come here, come here. And it's on our engineer as well. I feel, Commander. Ich hab alles im Blick. It's so weird to see the map house goes like that? Yeah, it kind of is. The drones are coming. The sectoids are close. Motion tracking. We have a pod close. I'm not sure how close. Looks like a little bit closer than them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably about here. Yeah, you can actually see him, I think. That's one pod there. We could just start checking grenades over the top. They're in like a good position to be grenaded there. Sectoids are very prone to being naded. So if I can get free nades, I might might just take them. Our other pod is like over here. That pod's probably coming over anyway to get fucked on me. The thing is that you're gonna be able to land a grenade over the top. I think if you walk to those right, you may be able to get them without problem. Or are they static? Do I just hold and do nothing here? There's actually not them there. Where are they for real? They're down here. I can't reach that anyway. Okay, that's fine. Can't reach that anyway. What's important, what's really important here is that we do not see the others here yet. They're closing. You need to get that rocket steadying. Because they're closing. They're not here just yet. Position. Move over. Move over. Remember, 
three and one. That's probably a drone there. So three, three. So we have pod there, pod there. If we hold our positions, hopefully everything's going to be okay. You don't want to be ready to go there. You want to be ready to fall back behind the truck. So really, you want to be getting back behind the truck, actually. Just don't again. That's where we should be with what's about to hit us. You two. All of you should come back to the truck. That's going to be our best firing position against the what's left Even. of the drones. Come here. I'm on the move. You can smoke from there. It's like the best you can do. So you'll want everyone to be on the, the left. We don't want to be on that. Maybe move over while we still can. Kind of a little bit late, actually. Typical Kiwi says the mod should get the place extra aliens. I don't think so. Funnily enough, I think not. I reckon I can cross that. I don't know, it's iffy now. Should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm not gonna risk it. Oh dear. The drones are incoming now. They should be starting to arrive. I hope they arrive in one big clump. That's all I'm praying for here. One big rocketable clump. If the drones spread apart, we could be in a lot of danger. Hello. Alright. Well. It ain't a clump. They're still pretty far away, honestly. Probably just keep steady and keep holding. Use the shotgun to keep them back. And get everyone else in position. Just don't you go. Hop. Hop. Steady. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Shock and Overwatch. Keep the rocket ready. The rest will come. They're coming. Here comes the bulk of the swarm. They're on the way. Prepare for complete saturation. One down there, that's One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god. Oh god, they're coming. Oh god, the shotgun overwatch is gone. Another seven. Oh, they're sprinting. They were waiting the low ground. Now they're just coming. Oh, God. A little bit of damage, but they're so close already. What a dash. What a double dash. What a Mario Kart. So there's like eight. Then went over the hill. Nine. Ten. That's part of the 10. Let's come back, thank goodness. 11. Please don't be a dash. 12. Come here, come here, come over here. No, 13. Yes, yes. 14. Yes, yes, come here, yes, yes, yes. Which rocket to use? Which rocket to fucking use? Okay. Shredder, right there. That, that says Shredder to me. They shouldn't have their 2DR yet either. So just give them one big Shredder, then AP all of those, then smoke the engineer if necessary. You got grenades from this slot too, and then the follow-ups are just gonna be like rockets into them, I think. Big Gamer Shred. Big gamer shred. 
One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you can kill nine drones, there's still five left, but it's only five left. Above the roof? No, I don't want to get either. You want to catch this one enough that it dies. That one's going to be really annoying on that zone otherwise. But catching those back two would also be nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't get those two. But I can get this lot here. This is the lot to go for now, I think. Can I scatter in your person? Potentially, but not really. Okay. Who knows, Shred? Stuck on this. Let's go. Didn't get this one, but did shred the back two instead. This one remains... Did you actually get shredded? You just DR'd it? Let me see. Oh, you actually can't see from there either. How interesting. What? But you guys overwatch. What do you mean you can't see? What the fuck do you mean? Yeah, you did get shredded. Wait, that shredder hit all of them then. That was an incredible shredder. That got this one and these two. Actually amazing. Are you meant to be able to see from here? No. Weird. Maybe the windows are tinted after all. Yeah, that's weird. And not in a good way. Grenades are needed here. Big, big grenade. Big grenade needed. Can we catch that one on the side? Not really. Oh, wait, hang on. It's unlikely to do anything on that far in the edge, but I still want to see what it is to evaluate it, you know? Yeah, that's unlikely to really do anything, but it's still catching all the other drones anyway. So fuck it. It's like not a bad throw, you know? May as well do it anyway. And that catches the front too. We can follow up on the other back ones if we need to. One AP. Right in the corner of the house. That's three down, but the others survive. The others persist. Three dead. We have another one back there now. Which can be provided on the roof of that bulldozer. Not sure if it's good enough. Maybe there is good enough. You gotta do kill the close ones first though. That's that's where we're gonna actually gonna have trouble here, is hitting these close ones. It's gonna be quite tough. You may just have to suppress one of them. Like come here and suppress. Then you're gonna get targeted. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Honestly, I wonder if you just need to like shotgun over or shoot them back. But if you go here, you're gonna get revealed owed. Can we have a motion track to see how close the others are? So it looks to me like this other pod has moved off, which is good for the shotgun to be able to like move around. Three, five, seven, 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 five. Shotgun overwatch didn't work last time, though. Yeah, I think, actually, the shotgun needs to um, be able to see them, to keep them back. And it won't be able to get close enough. Mm. You also could just grenade, though. I don't know. Staying in that position is unsafe. If I kill these two and fall back and, like, shotgun... Smoke and shotgun overwatch, I don't know. How am I going to kill you two? How the fuck am I going to kill you two? I'm going to suppress you, that's fine. I can suppress you. Because you guys are like there. So I come to here and I suppress that one there, that's fine. Yeah, because the drone's already too close, so the shotgun won't keep them at bay here. I think they have to see it, is the problem. They have to know the tiles are overwatched. You can come to here and just grenade this one to get rid of them. And I'm mean, going for a better grenade on those ones later. Otherwise, I have to smoke. But then where would the smoke go this turn? It wouldn't... It could go over here and catch one, two of you. Valus can come to here and do another grenade. Valus could even be the one to grenade here. Can you make it over? No, you can't. But you can chuck a, chuck a smoke over. You can come back and overwatch or something. Drones in smoke, though. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but we can grenade them if they land in the smoke. Which leaves Valus to probably hold the AP until the others show up, because you can be suppressed worst case. We just have to make sure we just have to make sure this one dies. That's all. We just have to make sure that one dies. 
So you come back to here. Back up. Back up. Get ready to suppress. You come to here and just do like a point blank HE on that one to kill them. Aye, aye. Because this one is a real issue. Please work. It's one health shredded droid of an AP grenade at a reasonable distance. It's gonna work, right? Yeah, we're good. So number one dead. Because if you know HE, I know. That's what I wanted. Did I say HE? That was a mistake, if I said HE. You're gonna be suppressed. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna come around and do a shotgun overwatch. Full back. Especially because we're about to do some crazy rockets as well. Can you still get a grenade? Yes, you can. So I'll probably go for the green instead of the shotgun overwatch here. Probably just go for that. Hua! One, two dead, two wounded. That's six dead, I think. As long as you're suppressed this turn. Okay. You should be able to get me. We smoke you too, and everything is good. Let's put the smoke further back, so as said, we don't catch um, anyone else. It'll be um, five, 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 seven, five, seven, seven. So you need to get it there. Can you get it there? No, you can't. Okay, I think you just gotta throw it at them. It's not safe as anything else. Well, actually, you can go one on this side. You can go three, three. Five, seven, seven. Ah, well, well enough. That's where you can get the smoke to, so it works out. So smoke there. Smoke's up. I mean, by loss, I don't even know if they can be targeted, but better safe than sorry there. This is what I brought the smoke for, is droids. And by my calculations, we should not get flanked by anyone this turn, hopefully. And we're gonna probably have to fire. I know you, I know I say never fire on city rockets, but this point blank situation is probably going to be where we're going to have to fire on City Rocket. I don't think we're going to have a choice. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. That was only six. There's still eight drones. We'll see where they land. Hopefully not too close to that damn car. I'm going to unsteady that. Landing around this cover is good so we can AP grenade them again using it as a, a springboard essentially. Oh god, fuck off. They got me oh my god, fuck. Just be near things we can throw grenades at. These ones aren't shredded, so it's gonna be harder to kill them. Good time to miss, thank you. Alright. Show me what the rocket chance would be. Two is fine, but that close to the blue car gives me conniptions. I'm kinda scared. If we stay in the car, we can throw two HEs, but they're only HEs. You might want to just get these two away, I think. And then... Just rocketing here, because you need a bunch of them to die, I think. You need a bunch of them to die. Can I still fire from here? No. Shit. Oh, shit. There's too many. Too many! Too many, brothers! Do you think the sectoids are on the right? I'm dead if they are. Just stay here. Don't risk it. Valus, can you get over to here? I, you can if I make some room. Okay, Valus, you have low defense, right? No, we need one of low defense. Wait, no, that is you guys? 30? Yeah, you guys both have low defense. Good. One of you needs to come over and be the bait for the rest of us. It's not really going to work well, which is another reason for Nexus want to just shoot the rocket here, because there won't be another turn. One of you is going to come over. Run. Okay. 
affirmative. Uh... You need to- it, two, two is a fine amount of scatter and you need to hit these fuckers. You need to hit these fuckers, or the nearest fucker if you don't hit these fuckers, but you need to hit some fuckers, okay? It's not near my bulldozer, is it? No, it's not even close. Some fuckers need to be hit. Wait, silence? What about them? Activation? But there, it doesn't matter. Like, we have to fire the rocket. They should be far enough away anyway. And they should be far enough that it shouldn't matter. But, I mean, good good thinking. Good to think about it, definitely, of course. Put it right there. And if it scatters, you can either go here, 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 here. It's maybe a little bit further this way. New do a donation from Oxian. We have not the weakness of flesh, Commander. We need not waste Tarn's mind melding nor seeking cover. Prepare yourself the drone. Swarm is upon you. The, dro the drone swarm is upon you. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna make something be upon you. Watch this. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be a good rocket. I can feel it in my... In my... What did someone say last time? In my plums. I feel it in my plums. This is... Salvation. This campaign is going to live forever. Okay, well only one drone is dead. Not ideal. We have one, two shots. It's time to get shooting. Tex. That one's shredded, right? Maybe just give him an HE. Best odds you got, I think. They're not good odds, but best odds you got. HE it up. Come on, just roll high. Yeah! Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'm keeping count correctly. Nine down. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This should be all of them. Yeah, best HE. Terrific HE there. Also, the rocket didn't hit the car, so you can come back to it. Though, that might now activate. I'm a little scared. But I also want to shoot the enemy. You, shoot, hit, win. Yes! Another kill. Do not activate the mine goblins. Yeah, mine goblin these nuts. <laughs> okay, um, seriously though, like, problems? Problems here? Mm, that one's not shredded, so I, uh, an, an AP on them is unlikely to work, and I can't AP the other one. So you probably actually just shock an Overwatch here again. It probably won't keep them back, but it could actually just Overwatch one legitimately when they fly over my head. Which will be worth it. We're probably about to take some damage. You just have to hope we don't take any losses. Best I can do for you here. There should only be one, two... What do they say? Five or four? I killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. At this point, there should only be four drones left. Overwatch. Overwatch is the prayers. It's all up to the com uh, the commander? It's all up to the soldiers now, commander. It's all up to the drones, too. They're coming! They're not afraid! They're not afraid, but we're gonna hit. We're gonna teach them to be afraid. We're gonna take them out! We're gonna live forever! We're gonna live forever, chap! With crumbs pouring out- With crumbs! Pouring out of my mouth. The drones are stunned. They are stunned. They are frozen. This is it. It's our moment. Do I take back the car now? It might activate sectoids. I'm afraid. But be not afraid. This is our moment. It's our moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is actually the mobility of a drone? XCOM companion I'll never remember, so thank you for always telling me. It's only 12. This is important. This is very important. We're going to break loss, I think. Don't cheer too loud. We're going to break loss. Anybody got 12 mobility to check with? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I think they can't move eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on 13 mobility. Anybody got 10? One, two, three, four, five, six. Flattens out. Because you can go six, and then nine should be able to go six, but only in straight line. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know then. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's seven anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm pretty sure seven is a 12 mobility soldier's normal movement, right? It's not eight? I don't know. Two of them might be able to flank me, but they don't have loss. They don't know exactly where I am either. Plus, we'll have a shotgun overwatch. Okay. Will that activate a sectoid, though? Possibly, and if that in itself is dangerous. I'm considering, like, backing off here and breaking loss, obviously. Because firing doesn't really work well for me this turn, unless I spend a rocket on two drones, which is silly. There's still a mission after this. I think we need to back you to here. They won't activate sectoids. Position. Believe, yeah, believe, believe, believe. The Rocketeer needs to back off now. I'm on it, Commander. We're gonna break that loss. It's time for America's favorite game. Break that loss. Break that loss. You're nice and safe there. Sammy, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna live forever. I'm gonna go. Overwatch on everyone. Let's go, Overwatch. When you play conservative, play conservative as hell. Extract every possible bit of advantage you can from your position. Dig into your cover like you're gonna die in it. Because maybe you will. Prepare to be buried in your position. Nice shooting. Only three more left, right? Missed. No more Overwatch there, but they landed! But the drone landed, folks! That's a landed drone! When you break loss, they just do the stupidest things, folks. The dumbest things. It's just the one drone! The others have run away! They're scared! They're so afraid! <laughs> the fabled landed small. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Sammy. Shoot. Come on, Sammy. Come on. Two drones remain, but where are the two drones that remain? Where are they hiding and what are they planning for us? Bobcats. Dissident hideouts? Okay. We're gonna do a reload. Overwatch. Come here. Affirmative. Reload. Oh yes. Overwatch. Oh yes. Headed there now. Wait for a second, Rocket Hero. Um, your rocket doesn't look very good, so probably come back. Or just Overwatch from there. That's also fine, I guess. Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. Good to go. Hello. Oh, Sammy in danger. Nope. Good, 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 good. Not quite in danger. We need shots on that gamer there. Or to break loss again, but I don't think we can now, because these two can see. Yeah, these two can see. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Baby, bye, bye, bye. One, two, three, four, five, six. How do I kill you without the gunner being up? 
I don't is the answer. I just gotta shoot and pray. Or shotgun overwatch. One, two, three, four. No, too close for shotgun overwatch. I could actually break loss. This probably doesn't activate. You're fine. I can break loss again. And it gives me better odds anyway. In bewegung. Okay, you back off. Whoa, dude. Moving out. Oh, watch your eye eye. Slice that pie, baby. Slice that pie. By breaking loss, the drone has no idea where to go to flank you. And then you can shoot them in their butt. Annihilated. More Overwatches, here we go. You reckon that drone's gonna land? No way that drone lands. No, that drone's, that drone's got, got the plans here. <laughs> it's trying to flank us! Next this one, On bring it up to the front. It's just the one drone again. Leave. You come close. Shooting. Obliterated. One drone left out there somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Ready to engage. Where is the last drone? The sectors are moving on the right. I hear them. Kind of want to get back to the car here. Though if they're moving, that might also activate over there. Well, you're either way you're going to activate in this position. Return the shotgun engineer to the bulldozer. Nature is healing. There was one more drone, I won't be gaslit, I know it exists. I know it's out there. We want to retake a forward position now so that when the sector pods activate, we're close to grenade them from the bulldozer. Probably gonna start steadying the Rocketeer again for the same reason of if sector would show up. Shectoids. Well, dude. Watching and waiting. I'm ready. Not here in case the drone arrives. Still, have you on the right? I might move to the car to get away from them. Let's see. Let's see. Or to the wall. I can't move to the wall yet, though. If only I had one more motion tracking charge left to know exactly where that drone was. You can't really tile scan for drones because they're airborne, of course. Not, not the kind of airborne that we like. Enemy airborne. Bad airborne. Naughty. No grenades over here anyway. If I can get the Rocketeer to this Bobcat Blade, that's a good rocket position. I could just bring everyone over to the Bulldozer Truck anyway. But then if I get flanked, it would be quite useful to have soldiers on the right, but they'll get fucked on their own right now is the problem. But no, because you can use this. Really, you want the Engineer to come back over here and grenade from this building. Maybe. Or take this building. That doesn't give us as many strategic gains, but we know there's a pod there. Maybe you just kind of want to like hold your positions a little bit conservatively and hope that the drone's going to show up. Not a UFO mission, there's no hunt mode, and so far, the sectoids are not arriving. So just hold now for a bit. Oops, mid bunker, shit. Not a huge deal, it's just you might get 40 percent by a drone and take a bit of damage. It's a small mistake, but hopefully not one we'll be punished for. There was another drone, right? 
don't make me count the fucking drone bodies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I got them all. I got them all, actually. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, how did I get fourteen before? Only one you're probably supposed to activate. No, because it's very different. The moves I can make with no enemies active are very different to so the moves I can make with one active. I counted fourteen, right? One, do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How the fuck did I get fourteen before? Did I double count? But there should be 13, so now I just can't count. Two, three, four... Oh, did I, not, did I not see those ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What? Where's the fourteenth one? Look in the ground. It's easier to see them if you go into the ground. Hang on. I can't. Yeah, like this. It's easier this way. One on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one, right? Yeah. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. But I don't. Oh! Is that one? Fourteen. That's all of them! I swore- it, I swear there was another one, though. But that's 14 bodies, right? That's 14 bodies. And the drone would be here. Drones rarely just fuck around in the fog. No, I think that's actually 14 bodies. I think I miscounted one of them. Okay. Then we should be good to go. So, <laughs> Gorg says, I wonder, wonder if this part of the simulation happens when they've had the commander in the tube. Yeah, it's just all the ethereals with clipboards standing around all making the same notes. Just like, <laughs> count several times, underlined. Okay, so all the drones are dead. Excellent job, everyone. I'm very proud of you all. That was well held. We still have a rocket left, which is also awesome. We still have most of the engineer's grenades back uh, left. We did expend three out of four of the grenades of the two rookies. But honestly, a good amount of ordnance left, and no one hurt. That's impressive. Now all we need to do is beat a normal um, heavy abduction. This map can be tough, but if we can get drop down grenades onto the sectoids, things will be much easier. So first you gotta figure out where the nearest sectoids are. This pod seems to be moving. So they're not really a sure thing. Besides, their cover isn't super destructible anyway if they take the bulldozers. And you can rocket it. I might, like, for instance, put the Rocketeers steadied here. See if anyone patrols this position. Because I think the other pod is, like, down here. So come to here with the Rocketeer, maybe. Or, or there. Just steady. And see if any fuckers come over here. If no one comes over here for 5 or 10... Then we'll switch over to here instead and try to get a drop-down grenade on the guys in the pit. If we activate the pit first, it's more awkward, but also unlikely from this position, from, to activate from this rocket here. But if we activate the pit first, we'll just probably come back around to the engineer and get to this position. Either way, if there's nothing here, we come around to here and get them. Parker Boy says the elders watching this guy who almost defeated their invasion force take his socks off so he can count he can use his toes to count the drone corpses. <laughs> Shut up. You come over here. Headed there now. This is probably the time at which you want to bring the full squad back together, but I am just a little bit worried about what happens if I get L-shaped and I have no one here. So maybe it is good to have you two in position. I don't know. Fight with four on this side. Because it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess if you move quickly, you should be able to take this position before they do anyway. So okay, come back over. Been done. This should be okay. Yeah. You're gonna say they're in Overwatch. Mobility 11, mobility 10. 
Yep. Got it covered. Take this spot and overwatch. Got it covered. Got it covered. Here I am, Commander. I'll build for the break. Adelante. Now, we want someone else to scout, ideally. Got it. Hostile spotted. Hello. Okay, so there's your pot of roofed up sectoids over there. Two of them are going in the pit. I reckon switch the engineer over immediately for that. Break loss of this one. Just get ready to gun them down in a second. Engineer immediately comes over because that's going to be a bunch of sectoids who need to be mined down in the pit. You want to send them back to the pit. I can't get to that corner quickly enough. Whatever. This shouldn't double activate, but it might through the windows. No, we're good. So remember, two in the pit, one over here. Wanna switch my rocketeer over to here for a steady or for something different. Wanna back you off. I'm on the move. Wanna have you overwatching for the run. You, I would like to have ready to take advantage of that sectoids uh, if they move into a bad position, but I don't think I can safely here. We'll see. Sammy's gonna move up, or no, don't go there. Sammy's gonna move up. They don't have eggs. So here is actually best. Stay there. You come over to here. It's not a great position. Um, just so watch from there for now. Overwatch. 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 Steady. Overwatch. I know Mongo, but I didn't complete it as I realized that I do my sentence. I, I realized the danger. Two in the pit, one in the Helldivers mod integration, right Mongo? Am I right? Okay. Roger that. Nothing. No activity over there, they've fallen back. We got some there, I want to grenade them right now. I want to give them the, the stick. That's a bunch. That, that's like four right there. If I can just get an AP on them, they're dusted. But that'll activate. You probably gotta just like come over to here and see if you can get it. Boy. No! Come on, it was such a good grenade. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Not getting that. Not getting that one. You have to move to here if you want that grenade. Which means people should be in position to at least cover that maneuver. And cover the gateway. The gateway is opening, Commander. Come here. Roof dangerous. No, now nah, roof will probably activate even more so. And have worse cover. Rocketeer has this corner covered, at least. So probably leave Rocketeer, like, managing that whole side. I wouldn't mind another grenade over here, but you're busy right now. So we're just gonna go... Overwatch. Overwatch. Shotgun Overwatch. Steady. And Overwatch. Hello. The gamer has come. That's the one from the left. Heihachi Masectoid is dead. Sorry, I was watching the Tekken 5 intro the other day. I want to HE that corner. It'll still be half covered though, so maybe not. Do damage to the sector though, which is always nice. But there's still like 14 enemies out there. Hitachi Sectoid? No, Heihachi. Heihachi Sectoid. Completely different. Thrown into a volcano by his son Kazuya Sectoid? Exactly. Come here. To position. Gonna move the rocket up, I think. Do we still have a hilarious birthday party to interrupt down here? Not really. 
just the one sectoid there now. Then another here, and another here, perhaps? Or is it, can you just not move there? No, you got movement for a lot. So that's... The, all three here are sectoids, I think. But you can jump off there, so why can't you jump off here? Is there stuff going on there? It looks like... It looks like there's a whole pod there. <laughs> Gorg says, for some reason, the Heihachi hair on a sector doesn't frighten me, but the Kazuya hair does. What do you mean, does? Like, have you seen this? Has it happened to you already? You, you say, like, this is present tense. Okay, I'm gonna move right up for the grenade here. Right up, right up. Fuck, another three. It's too many. I might have to break loss. I do have to break loss. That's... It's too, too, too nasty. Too nasty. Even though I could get probably a great grenade now, you're gonna pay for it. You wanna back off and break loss. As long... I What I need to do is get Overwatch on, on the gateway now, because... They're just gonna start pouring in through here, and I need that to be handled. Maybe there is a good reason the grenade here, just so you can get better loss, like... On, on the gateway. Where's that HE grenade? I'm gonna do it, I think. Phalus, I think you're gonna do it. We actually need this to be opened up. Throw an HE. Catch! Catch. Take that, LG TV. I just said that off the cuff, but then I thought about how some people like sometimes say LGTV to mean LGBT. Don't don't mishear that. I'm I'm an ally. I'm not a foe. No no no. See Pimple's saying it already. No, I'm not a foe. I'm an I'm an ally. No, guys, please. It was a TV. It was a flat screen TV. Please. You're gonna cancel me for blowing up one TV, one succulent TV. Please. <laughs> it was just the TV. There, there, there was bad things on the TV. And Fox News was playing. Cheers, cheers, cheers. That's right. It was good. It was good that I did it. I want this guy in jail. <laughs> I want this commander dead. Clean shot. <laughs> Go here. I need that sectoid uh, finished. Someone needs to finish sectoid for me. Rocketeer, move up. I want this commander thrown into a volcano. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to like. Sh I'm gonna have to shoot you. Die. Ah, shit. No. I know. What do you want? Come on, save me. Yeah. X -ray down. That's one down, but we have three more. It wasn't four, it was three over here, right? I gotta keep count when they activate. I'm usually just like stunned. So I don't say anything. Here, you fall back now. You should not be spotted from here, so you should really come to here. There shouldn't be any up there, any at least not right now, and then you can overwatch the gateway. And then you just start moving up. Order is confirmed on the move. <laughs> Thick Merrily says this mission, while a tactical success, has been a PR disaster. <laughs> no. Do I have to get my medal? I'm gonna have to get my medal. Hang on. Do I have that ready? I don't think I have it ready, but I'm gonna check. Where where is my medal? What is this? Is it this one? No, that's just me more tired. I didn't know I had a more tired mode. I forgot I made that. Where is No, it's not on this one. Damn it. I don't think I have it ready. Damn! It's not ready to go! I can't show you the medal I won. Oh, I don't have it on anyone. No! This is my fault for not having the medal ready to go. 
I can't prove myself. You already yourself a medal for shooting the TV? No. When... <laughs> when Sheepair Man made these tubers, there's a version of like a little rainbow medal. It's like my little ally badge. But I don't have it on. I just wear it for like dress uniform special occasions. It would have been perfect in a situation to prove myself. Stolen value, say no! I earned that medal in the wars. How dare you. Okay, if I move up to here, it's problems again. They're all right there though. What the? Wait, why did Garfor get to say Stolen Valor, but Automod just said held a message for reasons smart detection, and it's just future Cyborg saying Stolen Valor. Why is Garfor allowed to say Stolen Valor, but when future Cyborg says it, Automod's like, uh-uh, that's too far, buddy. That's too- oh, It's getting the others now! Wait, why can't you say Stolen Valor, Automod? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Why not? That's interesting. <laughs> Future Cyborg! <laughs> no, no valor stolen from how brave Future Cyborg is. That's for sure! <laughs> Stolen Donkey! <laughs> I'm not engaging with the chat at all anymore. We are, um... <laughs> we, we're continuing this operation. We're moving up Valus to this position. Out. It's hopefully not going to activate another pod. No, we're good. We're going to continue to advance oh, the rockets here for Operation Swift Disassembly of the Sectoids. Dervish, if I get you to here, can you grenade? Boy. Believe. Ooh. Yes! Yes! Gosh! Gosh! Wasn't there one here? Where, where actually are they now? I've forgotten where they are. There's one in the open, like, right there. You can literally see them. No, they have cover. Okay, just throw an HE then. That's fine. Just throw a, just throw a fucking HE. Because there's one on the other side as well. Just throw a nice little HE, like, right there. Start softening them and all up. Gosh. One, two, oh fuck, oh shit. Why did it activate them if it didn't do any damage? Wait, why? How many activated just there in the right? I think it was two. We have three on this side of a drone. Why did it activate them if it didn't do damage? What the hell was that? A really terrible outcome because, oh my god, there's a sector that can see me now too? Okay, everything terrible is happening. At this point. In the I haven't seen that XCOM bug before where a grenade just like decides to activate the whole map. Maybe it's like related to the battle scanner bug. Well, if that engineer dies, it was only mildly my fault. They noticed you, Ubu, they sure did. I think we're gonna need to move more of you over to help deal with the droney. A five health gamer, you start moving over two. Team four. Aye, aye. Stay the rocket. Suppress, keep him back. Oral soul says just just in aliens are not death. I mean, yeah, it makes sense realistically. Imagine coming to see this game for the first time. You see a guy throw a grenade down there, the aliens nearby start running, and the streamer's like, oh, what the fuck? Bullshit. You'd be like, wow, this guy sucks. Luckily, that one decided not to hurt me. That's really nice. Do the mine mark instead. We got five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Active, I think. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn you. That is not a position I was expecting the Rocketeer to get line of sighted from. 
But we're having a day of that, aren't we? We're having quite a day of that. You're gonna have to back off. That's just too bad for you. That sucks. Already there. The sectoids are exploiting me from low ground much better than I would have expected, honestly. They're making it look good out there. Can I get more shots over here? Bram. Hello, can we kill the drone, please? Can we kill that drone? Kill that drone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Connect, kill drone. Connect. Connect, kill drone. Kill drone, connect. What are you doing? Fully break loss from the low ground, because that's giving me the shits. That grenade is not happy anymore anyway. Connect! Damn it. Connect, kill drone! Come on! I need better out here. Ten four. We killed 14 <laughs> drones before. Now you can't just kill one? One little drone? But that drone is the bravest drone. The sectoids will make a maneuver up that ramp, but as long as I have the engineer ready to grenade them when they get close, I can still make it work. It's ninja theory, yeah. You're right. The drone will advance now. They will try a shot on my gunner in full cover. They will fail. Oh, never mind. They will still fail and they will not destroy the silo full of corn. Thank goodness. Apparently we can still see from there. I don't trust that. Yeah, you're just making shit up. What the hell you mean you can see the drone from there? Why would you be able to see the drone from there? Okay, whatever. You Maybe say that. it's true. I believe you. Is the corn silos? I have no idea what they are. You think I know? I don't know. Okay. Can you see the sectoid? No? Okay, perfect. Back vaults. Kill drone. Connect! Kill drone! How many times do I have to tell you? Connect suppress drone in place. Engineer kill sectoid. One. There's only two. Out of the ten active. I might be able to do better. You kind of got to hold them back though, because they're about to do nasty things to me. Make him feel the power of AP grenade, I think. Nice! Way better damage than I ever expected. You've got to back off, because you're going to get mine freight again. We may want to have you ready to, like, exploit this side, I think. Or can you actually, like, shoot one of them now? Well, no, because you get shot from the low ground, we keep learning. You might even get overwatched from the low ground if you're not careful here. But I do kind of want to just, like, get a shot on you and go to go to town here. If I'd kill that drone, I could move the gunner. I probably don't get overwatched doing this, but do I get spotted by the low ground from this position? There's no way, right? You just get to kill this one instead, I think. I'm rolling. It's all gonna work out. Yeah. Perish. Nailed him. Oh, obliterated. You, meanwhile, will buy us another turn against the drone. Nice 1% hit. Stay the rocket for next turn. <laughs> Now that we've cleared the two up front, and that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potentially sectoids. Plus one drone still alive. And that still leaves another pot out there, I think. Don't get cocky. 
Maybe two pods. I have no suppression, it's incoming turn, so the drone must die. I think the engineer can just come over and get it done, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be kind of fun to just grenade them all, but they'll all just mine them, merge themselves back up to health anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So just come kill the drone. Perish. Very good. You, we actually want to move over to here, I think, and fire a rocket through that position. Running. You overwatch for now. Maybe start flanking them. Or just get more overwatch on the gate, perhaps. Why didn't I take this position? Because I wanted to shoot him that turn. But in general, it'd be good to have some flankers. No, but there's more on the map, that's right. If I try to take the L too early, it's not going to work out in my favor. Why the fuck is that full cover? What? Why is that tile just randomly full cover? Because there's a person there? After 3,200 hours of XCOM, hidden mechanic? I'm on it. I'm ready. Don't I hear him out there. Oh, I hear him. Steady walk it. Steady the walk it. Prepare to advance and get line of sight on the enemy for immediate rocket destruction. Stay the fuck away. The mine mergers. They're coming down there. Do I have a rocket? Uh, kinda not really. No, it's too high. I think you might need to bring it over to here instead, but you still won't be able to go through that wall. There isn't really a good rocket shoot spot there, because this was, this had, they had loss on me. I could just move up to full cover and engage them, but there's more sectors than there are of me. So I don't like the idea of that. No scout too. Maybe if they don't want to come up, we, like, try to take out whatever pod's on its own, but that could be a disaster on the left. But if we could, if we could take one of the corners of the map, we could split this up nicely. Like, maybe, maybe I do a dash for here, but then if you get overwatched, you're gonna be screaming! Like, where are they hiding? There's, like, a ton down here in the low ground. This position would have flanks on two of them, or at least one of them, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you could make that, as long as you don't get shot on the way. Then you can also kill, you can also shoot that one. Maybe someone else can come to here with you. Okay, so you wanna line up two. Two of you wanna make that move with decent ability. So maybe you want to bring Valus over, don't Valus doesn't have good ability. Never to you, no one does. Except the Engineer. 
14. Okay, so engineer here, you there. Okay, bring the NG over then. Eagle strike the pit, you bet. You bet, I'm thinking about it. Why does that sound Shit. like there's flankers on the way? No, those are the ones down in the pit, surely. Those are the pit sectoids. The sectoids are not small enough to have backed up around and gone on a full flank towards that trash container crate on the right. Sectoids don't know how to do that. They're, they're like hamsters, they can't get through mazes. Which is why this move is gonna work. Oh, fuck! Okay. Now, if you prep the rocket over here, you might have a better angle, I think. So, Valus... Come to here. Got it covered. Long way reload of those airstrikes? Yeah, that's that's like the one thing I really want. I want I want to see their airstrikes. I want to see an example of what they look like. Anybody who's ever seen them, can you like send me like a video or a gif or something of what it looks like when you do those? I want to see if they look cool. It's a little bad they look cool, you know. Getting it done. Go, go. Roger that. Scanning. Scan cool. Cool. Now we're gonna put you to there and shotgun to here. That's the plan. It should be Flank City. Hopefully this rocket's gonna be better, and if we can just kill the group in the middle, we can kill the rest on the map easily. Well, hopefully easily. This rocket is a little bit better by virtue we can get some damage on over here. Oh, that's a good idea actually, Proxy Asian. I would that I should have thought of that, yeah, that's smart. Okay, so you wanna come to here and see if you can gat anyone with his Overwatch. Because there's them there, which isn't good. If I move the shotgunner up to here, am I in trouble? Or am I goaded? No, I'm goaded. Okay, so move to here. Goaded. Wait, what? Oh, you actually can't see that one. That's kind of funny. Can the rocket hit the excavator? Wait, where are all the other sectoids? Okay, take the freebie while you got it, I think. It's a good freebie. A little rated. How many we got there? One, two. So there's at least two there. Any more that we can see? We could rocket two there. That's probably a reasonable number given my current situation. Also clears loss, which is also good. Let's go for a double here. For it. Rockets away. Just clear loss would be fine. Yeah. Oh, shredded. Okay, sure. Oh. oh no. Does Swift's mod make it so that all rockets shred now? Oh shit. <laughs> Did that happen before to the drones? No, they already shredded, so I didn't notice. Okay, 
That might be a bug we should tell Swift about. Maybe. Maybe we should tell Swift. I mean, you know, I won't tell him if you don't. <laughs> no, we, we should. We should probably inform Swift about that. That's... It's not intended, is it? It's, it's not really intended. Okay. So you come back around. <laughs> Monster says, don't tell Swift until I buy the mod. Yeah, if you want to download the mod before Swift fixes it, go to Discord. It's, <laughs> it's linked in the XCOM channel. Like from a day ago. Get it quick before Swift fixes it. Is it, is it because you brought Shred Rockets and he gives a Shred Rocket on my poke? Maybe? I don't know, actually. Either way, good effect on target there. We're gonna keep overwatching. <laughs> the others? That's down to five to six sectoids remaining. Shh. You hear that? Maybe, maybe mid kits and smokes really do shred. That's amazing. Uh, Viola says, if you don't mind me asking, and I rarely do, my friend. Between EU, EW versus X2, which one do you prefer and why? I tend to prefer XCOM 1, if I had to pick. I think they're both great games. But XCOM 2 requires a lot more effort to be made really good, I think, compared to its vanilla state. It requires a lot of modding and effort. Oh my god, they're all down there. They're coming! Whereas, XCOM 1 just works. It's just out of the package. Or out of the box, it's just an amazing okay. package. You add long word to it, and you're done. That's all you need to have a great time. And I value that as someone who is, you know, in my 30s and doesn't have a ton of time to, like, fuck around anymore. Uh, like, I just don't have the time to make another OVA right now. That said, OVA does exist, so I barely have time to tune it up. But OVA is how I really enjoy XCOM 2. I haven't played it in years at this point. Um, no, that, that's really my answer, though. Is I, I think XCOM 2 has greater potential from a purely, like, theoretical state over XCOM 1 Long War because of how moddable it is, but you have to put all the work in yourself. Long War already exists and is already demonstrably good. Tell how it just works. Yeah, XCOM 1 Long War just works. That's all you need to have a great time. It's, it's a classic. It's an instant classic. Not instant to go to work, you know what I mean. Uh, it's, it's a classic in a can. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. They're both great, though. Like, uh, XCOM 2 can be really fun, but it's like a Skyrim kind of experience, like when you mentioned to Todd Howard. And XCOM 2 is like, for me to want to play it, I gotta do the mod list, you know? And that's what holds me back from, like, doing a lot of the time, is just the effort of that. Now, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Five. I said there was only potentially a 6th one. There isn't necessarily a 6th one. But uh, anyone got the, the clip of the really cool XCOM 2 OVA air, A10 airstrike? Because that'll be my counterpoint for um, XCOM 2. <laughs> That's like my butt on the other hand. Yeah, I could grenade them, but I want to use that cover actually. Why do I hate Long War 2 so much? I just didn't like the, the strategic game choices of it. Very unfun. Did not like it. I can flank you, but it gets us into danger. Any thoughts on Xenonauts 2? Did it come out or not? Oh yeah, here it is. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, Jeff's got two of them? Hold on. That's <laughs> that's Warzone, that one. Um, this, this is the counter, though, of why XCOM 2 is sick. Hang on. As it Just runs, call it in! As it runs with like 15 frames per second. Uh! <laughs> you just can't do this in XCOM 1. And certainly not to this level of cosmetic. Uh! <laughs> call it in! <laughs> I missed this. I missed this. Uh! <laughs> I missed that. We need that back. Holy shit, it's scattered a bit towards us. And the fucking Twitch integration? OVA is already next to impossible on its own. Not impossible. We beat, didn't we beat one? I think. But OVA is already really hard on its own. Yeah, we did beat one. Um, but with the kitchen gimmick, it would be fucking ridiculous. That would be interesting. Yeah, it's in here right now. Yeah, my thoughts when I tried the Xenonauts 2 demo and I looked at it, is it like, slight improvements, but it still basically just looked like Xenonauts 1. Which is funny because they like changed the engine to 3D from 2D, but I just didn't really feel it. It just still felt like the same game. And I wasn't that crash hot on the, the, the 
Actually, I don't know what's one, honestly. Mm, that's just too dangerous. You just can't do that. You're gonna get fucked. So, I'm just gonna, like, suppress you and shoot you out of cover, I think. Can you get him from here? Not really. Oh, yeah, 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 you can. Little... Wait! Yeah, they do get little half cover there. That's so cute. They, they, they simulated that well. Okay, so you come here. Yep, for sure. Yeah, Xenonauts hype got killed when this XCOM game came out. If you weren't there in like 2010, 2011, 2012, it's so funny because like Xenonauts was like this game that the guy was making, the indie was making. I was like, oh my god, someone's making a new modern take on original XCOM, back when XCOM wasn't like a worldwide phenomenon really yet, that Jake had restarted. It was just like, you know, if you played OG XCOM, you know. And then, right as Xenonauts is like becoming a thing, Jake drops XCOM 1, this game. And that's it. Yeah, that, that's history. And it's really so funny because I wonder how different things would have looked for Xenonauts' launch if XCOM 1 hadn't come out just yet, if it had taken another year or two. For one, Xenonauts probably would have been credited incorrectly or not, you know, incorrectly, as being the inspiration before, you know, Jake's XCOM reinvigorated things. For two, um, I mean, the game still has its own flaws, but maybe it would have more adoption, you know, maybe it would have been adopted more. I don't know, though, I, I, it probably wouldn't, it probably isn't the case, because that's the thing, is Jake's, this XCOM brought this game, like I just said, I said it myself, to an audience wider than just people who like the original XCOM. And Xenonauts, couldn't do that. That's the thing. But maybe, maybe it would have been like a little bit more loved. Who knows? <laughs> Glitch says if OpenXCOM has better sprite sheets in 16 bit, then Xenonauts would not have to exist yet. There, yeah. Anyway, that's not the shot I want. You gotta make room for the, the saw gunner here, potentially. Unless you can get through that. No. Um, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I get a flank. I think it's time to move up to here and just check. On the move. <laughs> okay, can't do nothing from there. Move to here. Whether or not you can shoot from there, that's what I'm doing. No, you can't, but that's fine, because we're gonna go shoot. Adjusting aim. Next turn, we might have Valus who has more health. Go and take this flank, I think. But for this turn, we're probably just all gonna chill where we're chilling. Maybe I'll just take like a like a 38 here. Nope. We are not succeeding there. So you're just gonna suppress them. Suppression isn't uh, one size fits all against the sectoid, of course, because it's mind frame. It's mental powers, but it is what it is. It's what we got here. I feel commander. Some says I like Xenonauts in some ways I think it's better. I think likely there are some ways that Xenonauts is better, but I'll never really discover them because I just find the atmosphere so missed on Xenonauts 1. Like, you have these, like, classic little designs of these little grey men in XCOM 1 and OG XCOM. I love the line fray. Nice. That are just so well done. And, like, the art is just so good. But then with Xenonauts 1, it's just, like, the the, the sector equivalents, the, the the seasons or whatever, They're they're just, like, gray guys in a Star Trek uniform. And it's weird. It's like, why? And that's really what kills it in Not One for me and killed it back then and kills it now for me. It's just the game doesn't look or sound or feel fun or cool to play. To me. Whenever things exist. And I've always said I'd much rather play original XCOM. That game oozes atmosphere. It is incredibly atmospheric. Uh, and Xenonauts just, yeah, has no personality. That's that's the problem. That is Xenonauts' problem, unfortunately. It is the truth. Nice shot. Out of ammo yet. I think I am going to go for the flank. Maybe from here to minimize danger from the low ground. Will do. Yeah, danger minimized, hopefully. Okay, didn't need the other shot, but that's okay. Doesn't really slow you up. But there is some cool features in Xenonauts 2 that like, I wish they had in OG XCOM, new open XCOM builds. 
But that's the thing, you know, it's like, the game is really just barely pulling ahead feature-wise of, like, basically problems from a design that's, like, 30 years old. Uh, and that's really the issue, is it competing with a 30-year-old game, and I'd still be with a 30-year-old game, Xenonauts needs a lot more work in more than just, like, in somewhere, because I, I would also play the game if it had, like, really tight, cool mechanics, but it doesn't either, that's the problem, is... It's not just a case of a lack of art, it's also that Xenonauts just isn't really super tightly designed, I feel, balance-wise either. At least when I played Xenonauts 1, I played it for a little bit to try and get into it. It just wasn't that interesting to me. Yes, but it's like really just an engine that I would take, but like its balance design does not like make me excited. Uh, but it has cool features in the engine. It's like it's a well-made game, it's just not a well-presented game, it's not a well- well, it's not badly balanced, I don't think, but it's not, like, to my standard of... I've played too much XCOM, so those standards are pretty high. <laughs> Lloyd Boy says the Xenonauts greys are not slutty or fuckable enough for peaks. I don't... Sometimes I just don't know, like, how some of you say some things. I just don't know. Is that... That's not dead. Did you get Jagged Alliance 2 worked at all, by the way? Not J3, but old J2 of 1.13. I think I might have played it once or twice, but I didn't really stick with it either. Hey, you know what I was playing? Speaking of JA, though, the um, the last couple of nights, End State. End State had another update. Uh, it's still early access, and I'm kind of worried. Like, I think it's like a Quagmire project for them, where they're just like, oh, let, you know, I think in their dev blogs, they're like, we're just going to try to get this game to 1.0, you know, at this point, because they've been trying to make it for like years, so fair enough. But I hope they keep developing it. I really wish they would, because. Um, the latest update, it's it's better again. It's a really fun game. Banger engine, really cool mechanics, looks good enough. Um, it's fucking XCOM Tarkov, and it's so fucking neat. Uh, maybe if I get some time, I'll, I'll do end state on the stream again and show you the new build. Because it takes like two or three hours to play through all the content there is if you just rush the main missions. Uh, and it's just cool, like you can aim now with right click like JA, it's really cool. Wanna see what Menace is like? Oh, I'm really hopeful for Menace. I am... Until Helldivers, like, I was just dogging in general. What does that mean, Beagle? Um, I was gagging in general, sure, that's better. For, like, any kind of, like, sci-fi or just any kind of, like, combined arms adventure. Helldivers kind of, like, a little bit that, but I'm still waiting for Menace for that turn-based tactical combined arms adventure, you know? So fucking hyped for it. Sammy says, remember that one top-down shooter game we played that was amazing for, like, two weeks and dropped off a cliff? Oh, um, yeah, from the armor guys. Uh, whatever the fuck it's called. Who cares? You know what I- yeah, yeah. Yeah, that just, like, had no more development. It felt like a- a demo in the end. I didn't feel like finishing all the main missions, and it didn't really have anything else going for it. But yeah, that game was cool. I can't remember what the fuck it was called. But it felt like a demo in the end, but it was really cool. It felt like a-, a like, a knock- not a knockoff, like a, a- a split off of the Bohemia team had made this in their free time. It was really cool, but there wasn't enough of it. Broken Arrow is something to beta. Broken Arrow rocks. That game's the opposite. That game's incredible. Um, I don't know what the fuck that top down game was called. The Thunder Tier 1. There you go. Anyway, XCOM. It seems pretty obvious that like the move here is to like start flanking around the right and get the mine mergers. That's gonna be like your easiest kills here, I think. But I'm just... I'm worried about activating more pods, but I think they should be in this side instead. So hopefully we'll get away with it. Let's see. You can always fall back as long as you don't use your... um gold move. There is a sector there to shoot after we've done a proper flank. That is not a proper flank. You need to like move a little bit closer for a proper flank here. So patience, patience. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Jane Doe, here's the thing though. And I will say this, okay? Because I'm, I'm the exact same way. I'm a complete company of heroes, Dawn of War, Die Hard. I don't like playing RTS games that ask you to be like StarCraft level APM. See, Alex Lucia says, says try, try Call the Arms. I think Call the Arms has more APM requirements. Here's the thing about Broken Arrow, Jane Doe. Um, whether you heard me say it or not, I'll say it one more time. In defense of the game, and in defense of you maybe getting to enjoy it. The game completely overwhelmed me when I first tried to play it. But the key with Broken Arrow is that you don't need high APM in the moment. You need high a you need high queuing. You need to have queued all your shit in advance. When your unit gets there, queue up their battle plan for the next five minutes. You know? That's what you need to be doing. And once I started doing that, once I was good enough and experienced enough in the game to do that, the game is way more chill. But when you're trying to, like, manage three different fronts at once of all these units, oh, it's hell. It's way overwhelming. That's why I start with, like, one type of unit, is what I recommend. But, um... Yeah, I hope they had a waypoint... Oh, sorry, I'm getting stuck here, guys, sorry. I hope they had waypoints, though. 
um, like visible waypoints to the next Broken Arrow build. Everyone's been asking for it, so hopefully, you know. Aye, aye, Commander. But I know, I know, I think you're kind of into the same shit I am, Jane Doe, so give it a chance or help me help you give it a chance later because it really is a, a terrific game. It's so exciting. And maybe well, when the full game comes out, I want to do a lot of content about it because I think the game's fucking awesome. I want to play it. So very likely I'll try to do like more tutorial content of like, hey, have trouble with Broken Arrow? Try to play it like this. Because you can get there. I was in the exact same spot as you. I cannot handle high APM shit. I played StarCraft when I was a kid. I can't do that again. It's work for me. Like, I could, but it's work. I don't want to do it. I don't enjoy high APM shenanigans like that. Die, die, die. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, fuck. Hey, what the hell? Hey! What the fuck is this? These sectoids are insane! What the hell kind of a move is that? Get out of here! These sectoids are fucking insane! That's what I mean, you could never tell. That's the everything about XCOM 1 for the comparison before. XCOM 1 aliens can do random shit like that, which is so interesting. You just never know when they're gonna do something crazy, you know? When they're gonna get really out there. You never know. That gets me spotted, I think. You don't wanna go there. You don't wanna go here, but that might get you overwatched. Yeah, I, I am doing biscuit activity. You're catching me, chat. You're getting me. What's you spotted? Yeah, we don't want to get you spotted, Sammy. That would be bad. We want to... That's on a flank. But if you come to here, you might be okay. I think Sammy will be fine. Okay. Ah! Overwatch is mental. They're absolutely crazy. The loss is treacherous on this map, folks. It's absolutely nuts. Position confirmed. You're gonna reload and come up to here next turn, I think. You're gonna Overwatch from here. You're gonna be ready to move up to here if necessary, but I feel like it's gonna re reveal more shit than it's gonna. Probably gonna cause more problems than it solves. So maybe just get ready to come over here instead. Actually, yeah. Sammy will be fine, don't worry. Sammy's going to be fine. Gonna chill here. Sammy, Sammy's soldiers always get killed, but not this one. Not today. Not today, folks. Don't, don't worry. Not today. One, two, three. You're gonna you're not gonna die, Shammy. It's not gonna happen. Don't worry. Everybody's supporting you. Nobody's gonna suddenly get you. You ready maybe to scout? It's all gonna be fine. You were just in place to do the flank, Sammy. They can't see you, Sammy. Wait, is that the fucking excavator one? Fuck, they're moving. Fuck. Where's the shit bag? There's one there who might... I don't know, like, loss is crazy. They might shoot you as you move up here. Fucking anything could happen in this fucking mission, apparently. Move it up. Ugh. Yeah, fuckers on Overwatch. I think you deserve to be grenaded. Where did you go, other sectoid? Where have you gone to? Probably nowhere that Sammy wants to stick his head out to, honestly. I could also just sh reload the shotgun and get you next turn. It's probably fine. Apparently you don't have hide advantage. Oh, there you go. Who knew? Not me. Let's give you a little... Wrong way. Goo is trying to get me. On my way. 
Hello. Yeah, yeah. Tracking. Hello. Sammy, don't be scared. Just be chill. Okay? There, there's like no pot over here. Look, you can... Oh god, what the fuck is that? No, there's no pot over here. That's just the limits of your movement. There's no pod. You're not gonna get flanked. No one's... No one should be here. I think. No one's there. It's all fine. Sammy, are you brave enough to peek out and see... Well, there might be a pod. Don't peek out, actually. I can't run you back in case you're in danger there. So just reload. We'll get him next turn. Overwatch. 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 Fuck! Goddamn psychic bullshit. Fuck! Oh, fuck, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck, fuck, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ma! Okay. Mm, no, but that one. Sammy can kill that one, but not that one. Is the issue. Valus can go in, but that's a little crazy there, Valus, because we know there's at least one more out there. Sammy, dead on easy sectoid kill there. Are you brave enough? Or are you are you scared? No, oh my god, Sammy. You're not gonna take the in the open sectoid? Hide me? Sammy! Why are you so scared? You're such a little baby. Obsidian says, I am brave enough. You're not in. Sammy says, no, I've done this in like three campaigns and it kills me every time. Oh, Sammy. Sammy, you little baby. Okay, maybe we can support you. Hang on. Send Sammy to freedom. <laughs> okay, Valus isn't scared. Valus is gonna go in. Sammy says, okay, fuck it, we ball. Death number four, go. Okay, sick, let's go. Thanks, Sammy, good call. Cover in fire sector. Destroyed. That's not, that's, that's not, that's, that's the wrong one. You shoot from there? No. Okay, you can only be seen from that one position, unless... There's a, but we know there isn't a fucker hiding back there because Sammy scouted for us, so it's fine. Bayless. <gasps> Who could it be now? Which means Ball of Sunshine could come here and get you. Oh, that's gonna activate, don't do that. But Ball of Sunshine could come here and get the far shot. But if you fail, you can't really get got because Sammy has, no, Sammy doesn't have you covered. Hmm. Hmm, that probably doesn't kill, that probably does is the difference. But killing this one protects Sammy. But this one probably shoots Valus anyway, actually. Probably go for the likely kill. Can you hit the second far sector from the tower next to you or step out? No, because that wouldn't be a flank. Like, you can shoot him, but it wouldn't be a flank. This is probably the smart move to make. Maybe. I mean, you can even cover that truck from there, if I think. This is fine. Nothing is going to go wrong with this. This is fine. This is fine. I'm on the move. Be aggressive. You were so aggressive in the first mission, Beagle. Don't lose it now. Is it? Don't lose that aggression now. Yeah! Now mission accomplished. Oh, that was... What? Wait, no, there were other sectoids. 
we, we heard them over on the left. And 14 aliens, that means there was only 12 on the map. I guess that's possible, yeah. Huh. I thought I heard another pot over here. I, okay, maybe it was a line of sight sectoid. I'm happy. No one died. And the mission is won. <gasps> Terrific. Two specialists, not three, but two specialists are ready. One is a scout, one is a, a attack. Good, good, good. Fearless, you probably have to not be in infantry. You'll probably have to get random into something else. Again, scout every time. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe you're just, maybe, well, maybe your aim's specialize good. specialize in dealing massive yeah, yeah. amounts of damage what if, Well, we have five health. Without sufficient training, yeah, minus four defense. they're vulnerable yep. in close combat situations. Okay, you have, like, high health, but apart from that, you don't necessarily have a, a scout's profile. Because your defense and your will are terrible. What if I made you a sniper, Sammy? Would you be happy then? Meanwhile, let's look at the perks. Um, remember, Sammy, it's not just about being safe yourself. If you don't do the best as and do your part, the campaign will fail. Just like fucking the hell divers right now. We got a flush gunner. That's cool. New do a donation from Oxian. <laughs> Victory, but without the sweet taste of canister, the nacho cheese, dieci mila cento venti dollari. Oh, I'm so hungry. I want a Domino's pizza with the stuffed garlic cheesy crust. Oh my god, with pepperoni, and I want nachos. I want to buy supermarket Doritos or CCs, and I want to smother them in mozzarella cheese bought from the dairy aisle. I just want to put it in the microwave for two minutes and just stuff it into my mouth until there's just like frozen, not frozen, there's just like superheated hard cheese residue all over the plate I have to scrub off later. Oh my god. Wonder Wolf says, bro, what? Domino's a trash pizza? It is, but it's the only one we have in our town. So there you go. I used to love Eagle Boys, but Eagle Boys is dead. Eagle Boys is dead. Blood is fuel. Eagle Boys Pizza? Oh, I miss them. Their feta cheese pizza was insane. It could it could cure me of any ailment. Sorry for judging it. Yeah, we don't have uh, a Pizza Hut. We don't have a crust. We don't have any of that stuff. You poor thing. Yeah, it's all we got. The garlic powder is of a notch. What garlic powder? Tell me about it. Yeah, I like their thin crust. Yeah, I always get their thin crust, yeah. Eagle Boy flew too close to the sun. Domino's has stuffed crust in Oz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eagle eats fucking weird. I mean, less weird now. Corden says it's actually really easy to make your own pizza that's greater than any fast food pizza. Yeah, but operative word is make. So sometimes when we're weak, we get Domino's. Okay. We get wacky stuff in Australia. Oh yeah, like once every three years when it's like time to do the Vegemite pizza again. The veg the Vegemite and egg pizza, the Aussie pizza. Anyway, gunner here with platform stab, good for LMG. Tax sense, amazing for survival. Uh, also stacks really well their existing for defense, so. Uh, and then you have flush. It's probably gonna be flush here, um, most likely. Uh, who else got promoted? Oh, all of you. Mm. New do a donation from Oxian. I am mm. literally using <laughs> donations to support my diet and avoid the pizza orders if he bought aliens uno can't spend it. Really? On takeout. Xco M kitchen zero calls. Oh man, I'm like a piggy bank you can't get the money back from. That's fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like an accountant who holds onto your money for you, but I never give it back. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oxygen's ordering the pizza for me. Yeah, Oxygen's passing the pizza on to me. Generous in the moment, but in the long run, when I die 30 years younger for having eaten too much pizza, really Oxygen passed the bullet on to me if you think about it. Oh, cows and oh, cow zones. <laughs> oh my god, Jando, what? Wait a second. One time I got a bunch of Domino pizzas free because they were giving away codes when they started online orders. So I would go to the order page and redeem a coupon every day, but schedule them to pick them all up on Friday. Oh my god. Then I go pick up like a hundred bucks of free pizza. Like, in one sense, amazing genius. In the other sense, your, your fridge was full of pizza. And it reminds me of that Reddit guy who was like, my roommate only eats, like... <laughs> He, it's like when Earth comes back on League. A roommate who waited until cheeseburgers or something were $2 at McDonald's. And they would go and buy like 500 cheeseburgers and freeze them. 
<laughs> in their like in their deep freezer in their college dorm. <laughs> and then they would just Yeah, yeah, McChickens, thank you. The hundred McChicken man, yeah. This is this is a real story at least. <laughs> this is all he would eat. Didn't like the power go out or something and all the McChickens got wasted. He was sharing the pizza, that's fair then. Uh, it reminds me now also of when I was younger and my roommate. My roommates were all like drunk after another like all night party and just drove. <laughs> drove to McDonald's. They weren't, sorry, they weren't drunk. They weren't drunk driving, but they had like just been, you know, they were hungover. Everything and someone who wasn't intoxicated, I'm certain, drove them all to McDonald's and they came back having ordered like a hundred two dollar cheeseburgers and they were just like throwing them out of the window onto the lawn. They were just having like a snowball fight with cheeseburgers. It was insane. <laughs> Maybe you can get a junior chicken and a McDouble for like three dollars. Yeah, shit's expensive now. Shit's, shit's expensive. No, not not me. Not Mr. Policeman. This stream here, as it says in Helldivers 2, don't drink and dive. I would never. I only split the squad. That's all I do in Helldivers. Splitting the squad does get a lot of Helldivers killed, but it also gets missions done on time. So it's impossible to say if it's bad or not. Yeah, Red Rooster's like $22 for a large meal now. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I walked into the grocery store the other day, like at the bakery aisle, and an old lady next to me was just just shaking her head, looking at me like, there's so much money. Like, did just cost, everything costs so much now. I was like, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. What are we going to do? But she didn't reply with, you know, march on the Capitol. So I left the conversation there. You gotta play with me, Jane, though, if you ever want to. You gotta get the D9 with me. Okay, look, I'm getting super tangented, so I gotta go back to XCOM. Um, Revive is a really cool option just to be able to multi-class more, but you won't be able to bring extra medkits much. Um, you can't run and gun of grenades, but you do tend to have a shotgun on them, so that's fine. A squad side is useless. So, Revive is a really good one because it also gives you more move for grenades. More will is always good. And just having... Revive in general is good. Roll Packmaster. Yeah, if you get Packmaster plus Revive, you've got one free med kit, Revive, then you've got a second one. It's also good to just have a Revive even if it's just one Revive, because then, as long as the Engineer is alive, they are your Reviver for your Medic, and your Medic can carry all the medkits for everyone else. But then Running Gun is also useful for just, like, pushing. Think of the Squad Sight Shotgun Potential, indeed. If Squad Sight worked for every weapon in the same way that, like, Shredder works for every weapon now, maybe. Maybe I would Squad Sight Shotgun. <laughs> but, um... As it is, don't think so. Oh, Steam Steam notifications. Rumi's playing SCP Secret Lab. Cool, that game still exists. Okay, last perk level up. Hey! It ain't a strike rifler, but opportunist is opportunist. And it's probably better than the other two things. Again, it's at odds because, like, you want to be steady, which means you don't want to be overwatching, which is also a reason you wouldn't want to take Battle Scanner as much. But Rapid Reaction is really fucking strong. Um, so just in general, this is a good pickup. Earlier on in the first three Monster for Mutons especially, the rifle damage won't be that bad. Yeah, minus one mobility on a Rocketeer isn't great, but it's worth it for two aim and uh, Rapid Reaction. Rapid Reaction is really good. So that's probably the pickup there. Finally says, Battle Scanner is weird of rockets, because you need to throw scans to these scanners by us. Yeah, exactly. It's not who you want the scanners on. Touch, Commander. But Deadeye Drones? Yeah, but I'm Rapid Reaction. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Okay. Rockets are underway to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. So we've got OCS ready to go. Which I think is- is it one? You need to excavate to get the power going, at least to here. We need to get fission running. So sell, like, a couple dronies. Because we need fission building. And then it's gonna be OCS. And fission. Boom. And then you can go downwards with the lift with the power from fission to get your next satellite next month, hopefully. We have two satellites coming. We have the uplink coming. This is a good start to the month. As long as we don't fuck up, things are looking really good. See dronies like they're your homies. Maybe they are in Chimera Squad. No Chimera Squad drone. Isn't that fucked up? It's fucked up, I think. 
Egypt is gone, so no Africa bonus this, this campaign. Capacity. Additional uplink required. That's not bad, because their bonus is 30% less to build and maintain labs and workshops. That is useful, but I wouldn't have been getting it anytime soon. That would be one of the last ones I would be getting. So that's way better than losing China. The fact that we can get China this campaign is immense. They're here to take the pyramids back. <laughs> yeah. If we can get Europe and China, that's great. Do what we did in the campaign that made it to November, where we just go all the way down uh, this side. Reduce our foundry been project costs. Some odd transmissions lately. Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been Very all good. over the news, ranting about shadow operatives. However, America also being open, which is rare. Um, we can also get the NA bonus. So we'll, we'll have to evaluate at Second Continent time how our air game is looking. Required. Because that might be a big, uh, a big good choice as well as to go NA instead. And and then going. But you also like want to save countries. So if China is looking really red by then, I mean really panicked, um, that is when we would want to be saving them. Same as Australia. We'll see. Let's see what we can do. Ideally we want both. Ideally we want NA and Asia. Both. Or not NA, we want- we're, no it is NA, yeah. We want NA and Asia both. That's it though, I think, uh, carry on. Allow me to back up the save, because things are going suspiciously well. Boop. Jason says, I deliver want everything in the win this game. That's right, buddy. Somebody gets how to play XCOM. Okay, now remember, we want everything and to win this game. Oh my god. Which means, it's time to raffle our first Top Gun! Exclamation mark Top Gun, I'm gonna draw it right now. So you better hurry if you want to get in. The raffle entries are shooting up, I'll give you 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go! Sean's Gotti, you're in! Give our ship name, Shaw's Gotti. You're in! Let's see what you've got! Head for debate says, I've never won a raffle. Keep the radio clear. We have eyes on the bandits. We're going for an interception. Nice. And finish it off, Cody. Another one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, Gotti. I'll copy over. Solid copy, B three seven. Nice work. All right. Okay. Now these UFO missions can be treacherous, chat. We know that they can be quite a bit of trouble. But we nail this UFO mission. It's a really good start to the day. Dr. Reese says, how do I order off credit? Uh, just like you're doing right now, just at Beegs and Jam me. Um, in the mission, like you would normally be doing a uh, donation order, and just say it to me. Uh, so one, once the kitchen opens, just like you're doing Kofi, but just at Beegs and Jam me. Um, and as long as you're the only one highlighting me at the time, I'll definitely see it. But if, if I don't happen to see it, chat everybody like five seconds, ten seconds later, just like at Beegs and Jam spam me, so to make sure I see it. And that's how we're going to do it. So you got $6 of credit, Dr. Ryu. I wonder if Dr. Ryu is going to order something. Get your exclamation mark raffles in chat because there's going to be some more rookies on this mission. There's going to be Valus and Ball of Sunshine. Valus is likely going to random into something else. Ball of Sunshine. So... They have to be a sniper, actually. I was going to say scout. But sniper absolutely makes the most sense for them. 10 billion percent. Look at that stat line. 72 aim. 3 defense. Okay, whatever. 11 mobility, 3 health. They've got to be a sniper. 
I can do missions without lighting. I've been doing them all, all month. I can do it. And a sniper could be really good on... Do we have the map? Is it just the usual Shrek Swamp? Yeah, it's the uh, usual Shrek Swamp. Do we have anyone else coming uh, soon? No, no one is close. Okay, so yeah, send it. You're on the operation. I'm going to be sniping of you. You're going to be on the operation. A random you. <laughs> Bounty says if Dr. Ryu orders one sector with one drone here, they could make Beagle keep track of the $1 remainder credit for indefinite amount of time. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why would someone do that? This could be a tough one. Depending on what Valus rolls. Valus says if X2 is ever released, what would you want it to be like? Oh. People ask me that sometimes, and it's just too open under the question. I couldn't really tell you. If Valus says, me personally, I would combine the brutal feeling optimization of X1 with the modularity added polish of X2. What do you think, though, Beaks? I mean, yeah, that. That's a good answer. Yeah, the best parts of both would be incredible. I doubt that's what they'd make for X3. I think they'd do some new idea. But. Yeah, I mean, that that's thats the enthusiast's dream. It's just combine this the first two games we already liked. However, as a company, Fraxis... I'm about to say they tend to do new things, but then... What is it? Civ Civilization 8? Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe they do do that. I don't know. Like, they, they haven't done that for XCOM, typically, though. The XCOM team has typically um, done, like, a new kind of take each time, unlike Civ. But I would like Civ. Um, for the XCOM. I would just like them to do XCOM HD. I would like them to do XCOM 3 and it's just XCOM 1, but like with mods, yeah. Be incredible. If you could combine this game with XCOM 2's mod ability, incredible. Uh, more likely though, I think, what I would ask for from a new idea, I think they're more likely to do. Um, I've, I've said usually I would like them to do like a... You like, in, you like travel across space and you have like a space grand strategy layer going on rather than a hollow globe. And you're like doing a bit of like taking back planets um, from the Elders. I think that's what XCOM 3 could and should be. Go sci-fi. We have we have these games. We have Near Future Resistance. We have XCOM 1 Straight Laced Military. XCOM 3, it's like... Uh, like, Total War. Grand strategy. Like, Civ-style, Civ like, strategy layer across the stars. And then you're doing tactical battles to take back the planets and free all of the slave races that the Ethereals have enslaved. Like, the Sectoid planet, Muton planet. And as you free those planets, they, they can join your army or your science team or your... Uh, planets in general or whatever, or you know, they can just chill and wear pants. But they'll probably base it off of XCOM 2 because they take XCOM 2 as the canon, I think, so uh, maybe you do that after XCOM 2? I don't know. Anyway, that's what I think. Stoop says XCOM 3 needs to incorporate some of the really incredible advancements of Gears Tactics. That would be incredible too. If they don't go grid-based anymore, they go as Gears Tactics. If they just rip the fuck off of Gears Tactics, that would also be amazing. They won't. They'll do another grid-based square thing if the game ever comes out and ever exists, but I wish. Gears Tactics deserves a sequel, whether it's from the same developers, whether it's a spiritual sequel or an official one. Gears Tactics advanced the turn-based tactics genre in Infantry Department, and it's never been seen again. We need more fucking Gears Tactics. That, the fact that that game doesn't have, like, mod support is a fucking crime. Incredible game. Really sad that there just isn't that much longevity to it once you beat it a few times. Alright, let's go squad site. Man, this will be Gears Tactics 2. It absolutely won't, but uh, hopefully it's its own fun thing. Okay, we're gonna do a rando as, um, fucking, <laughs> as SWF is here to, uh, vomit. Oh, uh, by the way, um, SWF, we found a fun bug with your Shredder mod. Um, a specialist rocketeer with no other perks who took Shredder in their inventory seemed to do Shred with their HE rockets. Thought you should know. Okay, full length sniper rifle, yes. Swift said sick. <laughs> That's the sound of a man who ain't fixing shit. <laughs> That's right, real XCOM Patriot has to be up delicious. Med kit, smoke grenade, maybe a second med kit on you. We might get pushed on LZ and might need a smoke on you actually. You got your tack armor. Valus is the medic. You're bringing the med kits. You're bringing. Hmm. Lightning says I bet it was on purpose to buff Rocketeers even more. Yeah, it's fucking Swift's um, planned Rocketeer tree overhaul is being snuck in one one of the time. 
That is how it works next gen too, isn't it, my fansters? Okay. <laughs> Dr. Ryu says, go put the issue on Git if you have such a problem with that. Your credit has just gone down by $1, Dr. Ryu. I'm sorry. Let's go full medkit so we can persist on this mission because we don't have very good alpha killing potential. We need a front line of rookies to hold while the sniper kills everything. That's where I'm... Holy shit, your aim was insane! You just went up nine aim. I think. Am I crazy? Fucking nuts. Um, I need a really resilient front line. They can be low aim, but they need to last forever. Oh, it's 6 aim? Right, it was 72, not 69. Hey, Mars Tactics, too, is getting further along. When Mars Tactics uh, Strategy Layer comes out, I'm going to be playing the shit out of that. Can't wait. And a certain very hot modder told me that Twitch integration's already in it. I don't know if that was a joke or not. So I've never clarified. But if that's true, that's, that's uh, going to be very fun. Was it you? It wasn't you, Exodus. You were not the hot one who said that. Oh, Viera, huh? Where's the ears? Mm, who else? You need high will. Watkins ain't bad. Oh, Manhole tweeted about it? I don't remember that. There you go. Sick. Henderson. Everybody who's about to get raffled is here to be a distraction. I hope you're ready. It's all the five health big brainers is what I'm picking right now. Perfect. Five health, 31 will. Perfect. Is there anyone else as good as you? That's that's pretty amazing. Five health, 37 will. Charles, what are you on? My God. What? How big is your brain? What the fuck is going on? Okay, you? You're from the same place? No, it's slightly different. You get out, Watkins. They weightlift in the library? <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay, who's better? Who's who's that good? Not 25. Best was 27, I think. Henderson, 26. 31 on Sing. Okay, yep. Yeah. Anybody? 28. Vier, is there a better than you? No, I think Vier is the next best. Okay. Min mobility, Charles Xavier checks out. <laughs> oh, bounty. They work out at the therapist. <laughs> God, that's so that's gonna be the first raffle. Their stats are well, these stats are actually the ones that are beautiful in vanilla long war, but get you killed in kitchen because you have no mobility. You're gonna hold one position really well, but actually, this is a weakness we have to remember. Oh no, I'm still, I'm still gonna roll them first, and then we'll go backwards. Let's uh gear them up first. Um, maybe for that reason, I should keep tack vests on. If mobility kills, maybe I should be running tack vest as long as I have six health. But you all have. Nah, cause the drone tied. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. He knows what he's doing, chat. He knows what he's doing. Obsidian says, I pray, if I get this raffle, I will transition. Oh! To a new major. Oh, okay. I mean, good for you. <laughs> HEs are less relevant here, but let's just give everyone one first and we'll see. Dream ability is insanely bad. Lopez says, you sound very unenthusiastic about that transition, MJB foe. <laughs> well, it's education. I don't have to support education. <laughs> you can be dumb as you want. <laughs> as long as you've self-actualized who you are, you can be dumb as you want. He hates reading. <laughs> I do, I do. 
Just right. <laughs> Pro literacy streamer. Okay, listen. Quote from a man who loves canning. Yeah, to like fucking 20. You don't have to go any higher than that. Listen, listen. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna make it. <coughs> The biscuit dust got right in my throat. Ah, oh, MGB crumb. I need some smokes. Oh, I need some smokes. <laughs> Beagle rush to Beagle dead. <laughs> what I need is smokes from the highest will soldiers. We're gonna hold those damn positions. You watch this. You watch how we hold. It's gonna be awesome. Smoke. Who's the next biggest brain? The next biggest brain and best defense is you. Smoke. Okay, and now motion tracker, I think. On one of you. You get a motion tracker. Bring one HE on you. Okay, two HEs. APs, APs, APs. Okay. And the idea is to just hold the line with smokes while the sniper kills everyone. This is a dangerous thing to do with a 78 aim sniper, like a specialist. But it's like my best run here, I think. However, it's going to require me to play forwards. I have to play forwards for that. Valus, um, you can keep that sick looking shit. It's gonna give you a different. I'll make you like, yeah. Starcraft medic colors. I want both. I want red and white. Is there like a faded white? Yeah, that's better. That looks better. That can be you. But we can't put a red cross on you because then. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough, right? <laughs> it's a blue cross. It's fine. We can shoot as many people as we want. It's totally fine. You're gonna snipe. You're gonna keep everyone alive. Okay. <laughs> hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. <laughs> Alright, I think we're ready to go. One shotgun. Oh! Raffles! We're not ready to go because we haven't raffled anyone. Um, so go back to the other raffle. The first winner is... Commissor! Commissor has a picture that is a Soviet Union flag flying over the top of... I think that's a raptor? That's a raptor, yeah. Yeah, and I believe their last post in chat was something like, about five minutes ago, it was something like, based Maoist Peacle Rush opposes book worship or something, so this is gonna go great. Oh, I said you'd be uh, anchored by effort though. I said we're going backwards for this one. So there you go. You're set up. <laughs> right. Next up. Is you, Niaro, you're back. Welcome back, Niaro. Still looking great. There you go. Sing is Robin Lynch. Did you shout out Comedy Store? He's a great streamer. Oh, legit? Shout out. Ronnie, what am I doing? What was your name? Robin. Jeff, are you here? Can we get a mod here to do the shout out command? For the channel of Commisor? Give him, press the button. And Tuna Man Guy also raffled. Congratulations, Tuna Man Guy. Obsidian says, well, we got some second engineering. Thanks, Beegs. What can I say? There you go. Thanks for the shout out command. Appreciate it. Tuna Man Guy, you're in. 
Benjamin Bugskipper and Charles comic story is like the Beagle Cinematic Universe version of Frog and Toad. <laughs> this is either going to go swimmingly or terribly. Um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of in-between. Either the sniper is going to one-shot every uh, enemy they see, or uh, the sniper will hit nothing for the entire mission and we will be overrun uh, by enemies quickly. Trinity says, looks like I'm transitioning. Oh, there you go! All right. Hey, congratulations! Congratulations! Excuse me. Great job. You always get a round of applause for that here. At least one second of it. And upper gender trend where it's called. And by the Helldivers. Hmm. I think we're good to go, yeah? Motion tracker, med kits, more smokes than needed, ton of grenades, shotgun, sniper rifle, assault rifles, everyone's tough as fuck. This is happening. This is happening. Now, I Touching need to down. make sure that I limit the number of sectoids on the field. It's gonna be tough if people buy a lot of sectoids on this map. Um, you know, France is sending an urgent mission request. because of it looks like the how wide open in it a is. Sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. So you know, if all of you love Beagle Rush, if you all are very kind and loving to Beagle Rush, make sure to limit the number of sectoids you buy. Hey, consider buying a drone instead. You know, just one. Just consider that instead of you know doing mass sectoids. Wouldn't it be great to get a campaign out of March, folks? Wouldn't it be awesome? 